<clears throat> current estimate number one and final 2015 pavement maintenance program contract fee. Uh, our motion of the Board of Council regarding the removal of current estimate number one and final 2015 pavement maintenance program contract fee to T.A. Robinson in the amount of $202,594.77 for work completed today. Uh, the estimate has been reviewed and approved by engineer Sites. So Bruce, uh, Richie, I'll second. And Bill Henderson. And comment from Mayor yeah. Blasio. This $202,000, and we are, I believe, going to get approximately $30,000 back from equitable gas, or people's gas. Mm -hmm because they replaced the gas line before we paid, which was very efficient. It still leaves us at approximately $172,000. Now, I have real questions of why this borough is paying $172,000. I believe that Gateway Engineers should be paying $172,000 and not this borough. I don't think council has a choice, by the way. You know, T.A. Robinson did the work. You have a contract. You've got to pay them. You all need to vote to pay them. So please don't, don't, don't take this as a request for you to vote against paying them, because it's not. You don't have a choice. As is oftentimes the case as elected officials, you really don't have much say-so. At least not at this moment. But you do have say-so about who oversees and who does this work, and who looks at this work. And Gateway Engineers' history with Bower Hill Road is not good. In 2013, Gateway Engineers prepared the specifications, supervised and inspected the repairs, gave you the same request to make payment at council. Payment was made. And not a year later, the road failed in 2014. In 2015, Gateway Engineers prepared specifications and bids were received for daylight work at $68,738. That's the contract that this work is being performed under, as, as, as I understand it. A contract from July of 2015 that was supposed to be completed by September of 2015. Now, I understand that there were delays for logical reasons, one of which was to allow the gas company to replace the gas line. That made sense. What didn't make sense is that we've gone from 68,735, actually it was awarded at 72,738 because it was supposed to be done at night. So instead, we're at approximately $172,000 after the gas company reimburses us for work that should have been done properly in 2013. Now, Gateway Engineers has been, on has been the party that has looked at it, inspected it, and frankly, I think they should bear the cost of $172,000. And if not, we should look as a borough at replacing Gateway Engineers. Because it doesn't do us any good to pay a lot of money to have this kind of work if they're not going to stand behind it. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. All right. Here's a motion on the floor. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Brown. A great report. Uh, I'd like to point out a couple things about Bower Hill Road. Um, yes, we did take bids in July 2015 for the repairs to the road that uh, were to take place in 2015, but it was discovered that there were some delay, there were some issues, uh, there were some requests to do a visual investigation. Council approved the geotechnical investigation that delayed the work on the road. I believe there was uh, possibly six boreholes drilled along there to try to find the source of water. If there was any water, um, there was 
there was at the time of the winter of 2013 into 14, there was water creeping out of the shale along uh, Bower Hill Road, which I think was the cause of uh, some of the damages. When we did the work in 2013, we proofrolled Bower Hill Road the entire length with a loaded truck approximately 30 times and did not find any de deflection or deformation in the sub base of the road. The road was milled and resurfaced, with, and binder and glaring service was placed on it. Proof rolling it to find base repairs was a, is a normal practice, and it's an industry practice that's used to find where base repairs need to be located. It's unfortunate that water did, did percolate into the ground. We didn't find any problems when the geotechnical report was there. They were extensive. The recommendation of the geotechnical report was to install under drain along the high side of Bower Hill Road to capture any water so it wouldn't get underneath the sub-base of the road. In 2015, we were approached, we were, myself and Tom Robinson were out there one day marking up the site, getting ready to perform the work. Uh, and about halfway up the road, we smelled a very strong odor of natural gas. And at that time, I think felt I had a responsibility to notify People's Gas who came out and identified a gas line that was leaking that approached 100 years old in age. Okay, that was, that was I think that was approximately July. Okay, they, when they said they had to look into it and complete the work, they were delayed by approximately two months in getting their work started on Bower Hill Road. Yes, they did work at night. It didn't have a lot of inconvenience to the residents and the traffic of, of Bridgeville Borough on Bower Hill Road. But when they completed their work, they were well into October, approaching November, I believe. So the decision was made at that time to delay the work until 2017. So, you know, I realized that, you know, we were at the, um, under the schedule of our contractor to perform the work. Uh, he did not perform it until the first week of October. But uh, in the process between the time the gas company did their work and the um, work was completed, uh, we identified that there was additional base repairs that needed to be completed. The gas company decided to pitch in and pay for half of the wearing surface. We made the decision. I think uh, I came to Lori and asked her to about what thoughts were to uh, increase the quantity and do the wearing surface. And, uh, you know, one thing I will say is back in June of 2016, we had a change order that was approved by council that increased the quantities on the contract. And let me add this, you know, any contract the Gateway Engineers prepares <laughs> puts out the bid for road programs work is a unit price contract that has language in it that states that we reserve the right to add and delete the quantities at the unit prices. So we don't have to go back to the contractor and negotiate another price for the completion of the work. So I think, you know, you know, T.A. Robinson did a, a wonderful job getting the work done in one week. I will, I, do, I will acknowledge that maybe they didn't keep to the work hours and weren't off the road by 5 o'clock some days, but there were some challenges some days that they had to overcome, and <clears throat> they stayed with the job. You know, it was Tom Robinson's comment to me was, I want to get this job done in one week. He didn't want to drag it out. Dragging it out may have cost more than a total of $202,000. So, uh, you know, we have a project that's completed. Uh, we're doing everything that we can from an engineering standpoint, using the best engineering practices that are out there and the best construction methods that are available to us. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tia Robinson held with the original quantity bid price yes. um, that was three years old by the time Almost, yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, they, they did it. So um, he, he was fair to us in that round too that uh, to uh, hold the price back to what it was instead of raising the price. So if we were to have to rebid it, then it would have been a whole other process. So I just that, that was also part of the overall reasons why they said it ended up the way it did. That's all I have. All right. Thank you. That's all I have. My comments earlier were not regarding T.A. Robinson. Comments earlier and now 
regarding gateway engineers. Shale Hillside existed in 2013, 2014, 2015. The water has not changed. If there should have been an underdrain, there should have been a suggestion for an underdrain when it was done the first time. The gas line has been leaking for several years. Police continue to report it. It was 100, approximately 100 years old in 2014, just like it's approximately 100 years old in 2017. My comments are not disparaging about the delays. Well, I'm just using Joe Seitz's comments about the gas line's age. I don't know exactly how old it is, okay? I don't know how old it is. I do know that it has been leaking and that the leaks were reported. I'm very, ex extremely happy. It is one of the things that I'm happiest about in this borough is that over the past years, we have taken an initiative to replace utility lines prior to paving the road. I know it seems logical, but it was not always done. It's not always done. So I'm very happy with that effort. And I'm not critiquing the fact that it was delayed for that. Okay? My, my other question is, Joe, you mentioned that there was a change order in 2016 as to the quantities? Yeah, June 13th, uh, 2016. Okay. There was a change order for the increase in quantities. Okay. Just to cover what the gas company. Okay. And that was for that the, was gas the, company? Company. That was the part the gas company. The part the gas company did. Correct. Okay, well again. And then we added to it to, to fix the road properly this time. This time as we were tearing everything apart, not it paving the other side of the road. Being that the time had passed um, the road on the other side was starting to show the wear. So while we were in there we wanted to make it all done and one time and be over. A logical question on that is why we didn't redo the entire road base as opposed to doing just sectional pieces of it. You know, we did so many pieces of that checker that it looked like a checkerboard. It might have been more efficient, you know, or more effective to do the entire road. I don't know, but that comes to the, uh, you know, the, the question of perhaps re looking at what caused the road to fail because I still to this moment, even with the geotechnical analysis, don't think the gateway is certain as to what caused the road to fail and if they've solved the problem yet. One final item. As far as the time, I appreciated that it was done in one week. It was a quantity price job, so it was in the contractor's best interest to accomplish it in one week. Okay? They stretched and caused difficulties by running over timelines. And, and I think that the borough, you know, the, the residents had to deal with that from a traffic standpoint, which, uh, which added to the difficulty. Right. Uh, that's it on that issue. There's another issue that I wanted to